Hello everyone, welcome back to Build and Repair and Restore. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy the content. If you do, make sure you give us a like, don't forget to subscribe, and you can also join the channel for exclusive content. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm back on site. Uh, today, I, um, I've been out all day actually, I've been running around picking up materials, picking up undercoat for the guys. They've been undercoat in the ceiling on the other house and now they're doing some caulking and stuff in between the joints of the plywood because a plywood ceiling so we're using cork so it's sort of flexible um, to prevent cracking and stuff like that so that's what you got to do i wouldn't have done the ceiling with plywood but that's how it's done so that's what we've got to use so they're just doing that now just come from there give them a hand here and um, also cleared out from the wall that we knocked out yesterday so i'll show you guys that in a minute um but i'm going to show you a couple of things that we're going to do in here and some of the products that i'm going to be using so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you learned something especially if you're going to be working in the caribbean and see what sort of materials are being used around here so this is all we cleared up we cleared up this area earlier on today continued breaking that down just a few little bits to take out with the chisel but we'll take that out when we're ready I'm also going to take out this sort of step here from the shower. It sticks out too far and it doesn't give you a lot of space to sort of get around here to the toilet. So I'm going to take that piece out. And when I, when I extend this wall out and bring the wall out further, I'm also going to extend the shower, concrete the shower and bring the shower out as well. So the shower is going to be larger. And uh, probably what I'll do is I'm going to build this wall up a bit higher and then have uh sort of the shower screen here maybe a sliding shower door uh or whatever but it's going to be in that area then i'm going to move this shower thingy here and that which is in the middle of the window and i'm going to move it sort of more to the middle sort of here somewhere around there yeah so that's the plan for that um but yeah also in this room here to show you a few things again this house had hurricane damage as well seems a lot of houses in this area some areas were hit worse than others but um the, this one i think they lost the roof of the house upstairs so water obviously came and flooded upstairs and so there's some places in the ceilings like you can see like here where the ceilings the, the where the concrete is sort of blown in certain places um, so i'm gonna have to hack this off patch plaster these areas and then I'm going to be using this product which is called trowel text trowel text so it's sort of like a textured finish paint that you put on with a with a trowel basically so it's sort of and it comes in colors this is natural so it's sort of off white it will be painted the ceiling will be painted white so just get the natural color but you can get it in colors so sort of like a sort of like a k rend ish sort of um, and it comes in different thicknesses or different grades of depending on how rough the surface is that you want to you want to cover up so let's just have a look at this so we've got a trowel, uh, trowel text textured finish it says a waterborne acrylic textured finish coating available in four grades super fine fine medium and coarse one coat application gives a beautiful sculptured stone-like appearance to a wide variety of exterior and interior surfaces so you can use this on sort of like your outside uh, walls to sort of sort of give it an, a, a new finish or you can also use it inside in this case we'll be using it on the ceilings because the ceilings are like the original sort of boarded concrete ceilings um, you can even see if you look in some of the here for instance you can still see the texture of the of the boards and plywood or whatever sort of the grain of the wood when it was uh, when it was formed the concrete so we're going to go over that and give it this sort of textured finish and as far as applying it um, it's uh, so basically use as it says a metal trowel and a plastic flow or spray equipment you can use it one coal and drying times one to two hours depending on temperature 
and then it's also got the coverage as well tells you how much coverage you can get out of this as well so not cheap this product i bought six of these uh the customer did get a discount because they got a friend who sort of runs the place so with the discount for like 20 percent off or something like that it still comes about 240 dollars for a pail which um the conversion in pounds is somewhere around i would say 70 pounds or something like that yeah about 70 pounds so maybe 60 us dollars something like that um so it's not cheap um but yeah this is what i'm going to be using so i'm gonna open it up and have a look and uh, uh this see that this room's obviously not ready to be done yet until i sort that out um there's this 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 room this room's got to be done which is sort of the same thing again you can see where all the boards were when it was formed and the other bedrooms are, are ready to go as well hi everyone so I've just started uh, applying this stuff on. This is the first time I'm using this particular product. Um, and uh, it went on really easy. It sticks very well. It sort of has a consistency of K-Rend, but a little bit more watered down, I would say, than I would normally use. Uh, but also, it, it comes pre-mixed in a bucket, so it's not much you can do about the consistency you just can't use too much on on your trowel at one time or it will go everywhere so it's a little bit messy because it's a bit watery as i said especially when you're doing a ceiling um but yeah it's quite easy to apply it um i would what what i did learn from it is that um you really do have to put it on thin you literally sort of got to scrape it on and uh if you have say uh, an air wall or a ceiling that is a bit more sort of rougher has you know bigger dips in it then you just have to use the the, the uh thicker grade so there's a, like a super fine there's a fine there's a medium and i guess a rough one so i think it's the size of the the grit in it and uh, the larger the the grains the more it will hide um, these ceilings are, are not too bad as far as being flat so i went for the medium and i think the medium is just right for here so as i said what i did learn was that um i just needed to put it on a bit thinner so i ended up actually when i was troweling it uh taking you know some of it back off with the trowel so this took about i would say uh, about three quarters of a bucket in the end to do uh, this ceiling but um, I will show you guys um, what it looks like when once it's all done Hi guys, so I put a coat of this on. I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, it looks a bit better. But yeah, just put a coat on with this now. And uh, yeah, so it's sort of, it, look at it, it sort of looks like a K ring stuff. Um, see if I can get a bit closer. If you look at it here, so it's got some very fine sort of sand in it, I guess. Um, so yeah, I've just heated it with a coal and um, it's been about an hour almost and it's still quite soft um, So yeah, it's still still quite soft So I'm just gonna go over with the, with the trowel a couple of times as it's getting harder and I'm actually I might use a sponge float on it I think that's the the sort of um, look that I'm gonna get with it so um, Going to leave it, leave it for another half an hour, and then um, come back on it and see see how I get on. So I've just popped uh, over to the other side to check up on how the guys are getting on, and um, they've managed to get the ceiling 
ceilings are on the COVID, the living room and the bedroom. Uh, also, there's this sort of like coving uh, wooden trims as well. So they've done that as well. And um, now they've just been corking up the uh, the gaps, any little gaps, uh, nail holes, uh, gaps between the plywoods and so on. And also just sort of rubbing down the bits that we filled yesterday as well. So yeah, at the end of the day, this our room is ready and uh, ready for the for the final coats now. So it's looking good. Hi guys, so this is what the ceiling's looking like. I'm trying to show you a close-up of the texture. So yeah, it's getting dark and I haven't got any light on here. No power yet, but we're still waiting for the uh, uh, electrical board to come and connect after they tested here. But um, this is taking longer to dry than I expected, so I'm um, still here. But yeah, I've been scratching it. Basically, I'm using uh, one of these large floats here, hard float, hard plastic float. And basically what I do is now I just rub it like this. Sort of circular motion and the little small stones or grains of sand sort of put these texture lines in the, in it. So this is basically what it's meant to look like. And this is the ceiling. So it's covered all these sort of boarding stuff like, you know, uh, the board lines or the plywood lines and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's basically what it looks like. Um, so it basically it just needs to then be painted in white. And that's the ceiling done. So um, yeah, it's been an interesting day, but guys, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Obviously, I'm gonna do a proper film when I'm doing another room. I'm gonna show you the whole process in another video. Today was sort of like my trial day, so I was running, running in and out, sort of playing around with it. Um, but the next video, I'll probably show you guys me applying it properly. But um, yeah, just wanted to sort of capture this today. But yeah, I'm done rubbing it down now, so I'm going to shoot off now. Um, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this and hope everyone's doing well. See you guys there tomorrow. Take care.